So this is interesting. What's that? We just got a email from C Deck. I'm one of the owners of C Deck. Your video highlighted the negative experience you've had with our product. And one of our installers was just brought to my attention. First and foremost, I want to say that I'm truly sorry. We've been manufacturing C Deck here in Rockledge for the last 20 years. And it's heartbreaking to see frustration and aggravation caused by your interaction with our independent representatives are of our company. For the record, I have not yet spoken to the installers. I want to reach out to you first, getting some feedback before getting feedback from all the parties involved. Hmm. I wanted to see if this situation is beyond recovery or if there's still room for positive engagement. Well, yeah. <laughs> we love the product. Yeah. Um, as we said in our unfortunate negative video, um, we do love the product and uh, I totally understand. I wouldn't blame you if you're fed up with CDAC. So basically he He's the man that has the power to fix it all. Um, as his title is VP of something. <laughs> I'm going to leave that part out, and as well as his name, but... Uh, well, that's good news. That's interesting. Um, I guess I will shoot him the letter back, and... Go from there. Take it from there and see what happens. Maybe we can uh, get this squared away. I mean, that would be really, really nice. Yes, it would. I don't want to rip up that sea deck one more time without having <laughs> something else because it ain't going back to bare fiberglass. And it ain't going to be sea deck, whatever it was, it would be put on so it wouldn't be as cushy and nice. And <laughs> right. I really love the sea deck. I really do. I just. I need it to stick. I need it to stick. That's it. That's the bottom line. So. Let's see what'll happen. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is the space between. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. And you made my future bright, so thankful for everything. Rejuvenating my inner light as I work hard for all I need. Open arms, embracing life, and all the way you gave to me. I work it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me. Do the shit and love it on a day and leave. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave, never leave But that ain't gonna be me, that ain't gonna be me My brother called me, I said he saw me on TV Ryan, so nice to meet Holly, you. Holly, Scott, Scott. Uh, nice to meet you guys How are you? Good I would, you take, I would tell you to take your shoes off, but okay. you know the drill Alright, sorry for the uh, camera, but we have to uh, No worries, yeah <laughs> Do it so right. I can just see just walking up there. That was just first culprit right here. Yeah. I can see there. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead. So, which pad did you replace that you did on the video? Right here. Oh, yeah, this one was the first. This was the one that I replaced over here. And it's even. It's starting to pop and everything. Yeah. yeah. There's there's mold under it. I mean, obviously, when we come back to when we're going to remove the entire kit, I don't know how that they approached it at all. Basically, we're going to power wash this whole boat, get it back to how it was prior to Sea Deck. Right. So that's our whole process. We do have a couple solutions that we use, like a citrus cleaner to clean everything up, clean it up, make sure all that residue gets up as well too before we even apply the next thing. We do have our pull test that we do too, is exactly make sure that they're for our proper adhesion. Okay. So that's our course of action that we're going to take with that. So this right here does, does, not, occur. does not happen <laughs> again. Exactly. So I mean, what is the what is the lifespan of C deck if it's treated properly? And and I mean, I've replaced the boat not too long ago, and that was eight years old. Eight. Yeah. Okay. That and that wasn't. We had know, it on our speedboat, our Mastercraft, for seven years before I had to replace it. 
And Not even a corner came up. But that's why I didn't understand. This it's mainly all. you have to replace it because of the wear and tear on the top, or because it starts to lift after that long. Like what is the well, usual? Actually, in that case, they just wanted a different color. Oh. So that boat was well taken care of. They did a really good job of um, just keeping it clean. So it wasn't anything. They were just basically just wanted a fresh look. No lifting of pads at all. So. Um, Unfortunately, that was something where, you know, if it was an improper insulation on multiple times, you're just going to keep getting into that same routine. So basically, if we pulled all these off, stuck it back down, you're going to be calling us again and be like, hey, this is this is occurring. So to fix this situation, when all these pads come up, we're going to spend the whole, pretty much probably a day and a half, almost two days, just cleaning the surface, just getting it all back, nothing left on there, where you can be like, wow, this is this like... Like this, right? Right. You know, and then there where we can now apply it. Now, for example, if we do our pull test and we're not getting the numbers that we like, we do have other solutions. We can prime some edges down, do some other things that we could, you know, to make sure everything sticks down. Okay. We're not leaving this boat until we know we're in 100%. Because this is the factory. So you're dealing with CDAC, CDAC. Right. So there's no fabricators. This is, we're going to make this right for you guys. And um, we appreciate it. And that. yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you just document everything and stuff like that so, you know, we can, you know, show the world and everything how, yeah. like, this pro the product is supposed to be applied. Okay. So, is it a trade secret how it works, or? No, it's, uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty basic, actually. Um, it scans it all in a 3D file, so it doesn't really matter about any, um, any planes at all. So, basically, when you bring it all back together into our CAD software, you can just, um, put it in a perspective view and actually move it around, rotate it all 360, upside down, left, right. Um, we also have another feature too where you can do like if you are working with a flat surface you can just do a flat surface as well but um, yeah this is this machine is very versatile it can do a lot a lot of cool things awesome but at the same time very nothing very intricate at all like about it it's just basically making the points make sure the points are there and it's, it's a very very nice piece of expensive machine <laughs> <laughs> I bet kind of the backbone to the sea deck operation I would it assume is. you feel about, um, I captured it all, I'm going to throw it in as well as this right here. See, I asked them about that. Yeah, what was their reasoning behind they that? They didn't have one. That's not, uh, yeah, because I mean, this is, uh, I mean, right here, I mean, yeah, I'm already slipping. Um, also, we're going to blow it out a little further here, but still leave you some rain channels to go through down. Okay. Um, is that the kind of gap you're talk look looking at? putting in the, the yes, gaps in between the gap there. In yeah. There, which, to be honest, that didn't even have to be split, that pad there. Um, I would actually almost make that a single, yeah, single pad Because it's going to give you more adhesion. Yeah, you get more adhesion, and then plus you're covering the knot skid there. If, yeah. if we had a break, like a non, like where there was actually a break right. in the knot skid, then I would totally split it there, because then it would be, because then it kind of looks weird if you cover a non, like a gap, then you can see it looks like it's like, oh, what's going on underneath that? But, um, yeah, we'll definitely get that cover there for you. Um, any type of um, any designs at all on the you can think of maybe like when people are getting in the boat at all, the name of the boat, um, anything that you want. Please remove your shoes. Get your water shoes <laughs> off. You know, how the cat toes. Um. Are you? Um, actually, that sugar scoop wouldn't be a bad one to put our logo on. As well as up there, or instead of, yeah. I mean, this one's kind of. That one's be hard yeah, because yeah. it's just with the ladder. Yeah. She might go there and say, "I'm sending me." <laughs> yeah. 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 But like, yeah. So I got everything. I believe everything. Yeah. So if you send that logo over when you guys get home, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, I don't think you guys have any questions at all. No. I think so. Speak now. Good deal. <laughs> Thank right, so you. We appreciate it so awesome. much, Ryan. Anytime. I totally. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get working on this here. We're going to get everything over it, send it over it, fast as you guys approve it. Um, colors, just let me know and we can go from there. We'll schedule yeah. from there. We'll awesome. Perfect. So I just got an email over from Ryan at CDEC and he has finished his mock up of the layout. Sent it over for some approval. Got some extra pieces. Got some the logo design on the step down there added some pieces in here so yeah super excited and you know what the best thing is check this out bam this is the front of the boat 
Um, trampoline would be up here. This would be on the back of the lazarettes. Uh, so we have a yoga area. It's a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I think if we knock the louvers coverings out, um, maybe we could uh, bring some price down and maybe work a deal with them. So that's what we're gonna do. So cross your fingers and uh, this looks freaking awesome. So today is the day. Sea Deck is on their way. Their team should be here shortly. I've got Scott, if you can hear the noise in the background. You see him, you see him? A while back he had put this gray non-stick coating on the lazarettes. And uh, now that we're getting Sea Deck up there, we have to sand it off so it sticks properly. So, um, that's what we're doing. Trying to clean up a little bit in here. We have a charter day sale on Thursday. Um, and they just said we are 30 minutes out. So, speeding up the time schedule a little bit. It is 8.45. They should be here about 9.15. And all this is going to be going, gone. I'm a little sad to see it go. I do like this color. A little bit weary on being brave and getting this new color but I think it's gonna be awesome all right we might be 50 shades of gray but oh well good morning Ryan how are you Great. thank you morning this is Nick hi Nick hi, this is Holly. Guy with the top. got your bucket of stuff we do yeah first load we got we got the other guys coming and everything I thought they would have uh, been here just momentarily and stuff but they'll be here shortly with our other good stuff and everything, we'll get started for you. All right, you don't have to wear, if you want to wear a mask, you're fine. Okay, if you want just, us to yeah, wear a mask, we... but you don't have to wear them on our account. All right, sounds good. It's hot enough. God, I know you saw me last time when I was like pouring out. Right? <laughs> Hi, Darren. Hi, Darren. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to finally meet you. Jared, this is Jared. Jared, nice to meet you. And you know these guys. I know Nick, and I know Ryan. This stuff seemed to hold up better back here, so I didn't know if it was because it wasn't in the sun or what, I don't know. But we never lost or got any lift on. Yeah, we don't really know what the variables are either or what made what go sideways. We're starting this thing new. I mean, it's going to be stuck when we leave today. Perfect, that's well, what I want to hear. Tomorrow, <laughs> yes. That's right. what I want to hear. Well, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, I really am sorry that you guys had such a negative experience and, uh, well, we're looking to change that. And there were some things here that I am sure were done incorrectly. And that is an argument that's above my pay grade. I, at the end of the day, that's really not my, uh, gotcha. I don't know what the recourse from that will be. So all these guys were heads of their departments on their hands and knees making sure that this stuff got taken off right so that when they went to put the new stuff back on, we didn't have any more issues. Yeah, but the thicker material, once you get them going on the takeoff, you right. can get in there pretty good. Bro. Ryan's prepping my favorite part. Yeah, it's coming. Bringing it out right now. Step one of the install, they lay it all out, make sure all the pieces line up and fit properly. And then they move on to sticking it down. Uh, I didn't know they could even do that. Got the laser in, uh -huh. isn't that sharp? That is so awesome. So this is gonna be done today? This will be done today, yes. First piece is stuck down. So has never been Y'all out of here for today? We are, yes. Yeah. So we'll be back in the morning to do the install. We got everything to dry up. Yeah. Pray for no rain. Exactly. Yeah. That's good. That's going to be completely different. Yeah. So excited. So. And they left Scott with homework. Right in between. So 
so we are sanding it down. Look at my new seat! Just to be super sure. Scott's going over a couple areas. Cause he's anal like that. Boys are here doing jigsaw puzzle time. Already starting to look super cool. As you can tell, we changed the color and pattern a bit. Oh, look at those little... So it's easier when you stub your toe. <laughs> You're good to go. We passed the pull test. Yep. All right. I missed that on the last install, but I'm not saying they didn't do it. I just didn't see it happen. Let's foot switch in. Freaking cool. See that even had your little hole cut out for your foot pedal, honey. This looks awesome. A little space is gonna match. I wanna thank you first of all for yeah, being no here. Problem. Well we appreciate the opportunity to get out here and make things right for you. I am so so super happy that you are and even upgrading things. Oh yeah, um, this is so, something that's somewhat new. We've been doing it for a few years now, but this is our laser logo. Essentially this is burned into the pad. You don't have to worry about any kind of fading or anything like that. And it gives us the ability to do a much more detailed logo because with having to route things, this logo would have had to have been larger than this table in order to route it into a pad. So this is something that we're definitely happy to be able to bring to you and put into the boat for you. Me too. So I guess uh, what, what kind of happened here is there was a, a third party that came out and did your install and I guess it wasn't quite to your standards. Uh, there, there were some failures and things like that. And we wanted to take the opportunity to come out here and make things right for you so that you could have the best boating experience possible. Um, I'm fully confident that after we get done with this, you're not gonna have any kinds of issues. I got a feeling you're even gonna like the color change that you did. And uh, we even upgraded your thickness a little bit. We took you from the regular six millimeter thickness up to the eight millimeter thickness. Oh, awesome. It's gonna give you a little added comfort there as well. Awesome. So just in normal standards, I mean, I know we're not exactly a normal boat, but what is, what is the lifespan that it should last? Um, well, on a boat like this that's always out in the elements, you know, this isn't something you can really put in your garage and hide from the elements. But on a boat like this, if you take good care of it, you know, you keep it clean, uh, you could probably expect seven years out of it, if maybe even more, but you should be able to get at least seven years out of it. Awesome. Okay. Well, he'll be, he'll want a new boat by then. <laughs> They'll have to keep our name though, because now we're going to have logo all over it, but yeah. <laughs> we'll deal with that when that yeah, comes. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I really, really, really appreciate it. And thank you for taking the time to A, be here and B, speak with us. Yeah. Thank you. So with no time to spare, we have a day sail today and we have the boat all ship shape with its new sea deck ready to go. Yep, they're all done and it looks great. 
Love the color. Wish we would have decided about two months earlier that we were going to pick this color so we could have made other arrangements for accents, but you know what? It's always an ongoing project. They did quite a few things differently. They overlapped over into the actual flat spot. They used a 3M adhesion promoter. They cleaned like nobody's business. And then we got this. So what does everybody think of my new yoga area on the bow? I am super stoked and think it is fantastic. Now you can enjoy the space between and the space between. Nice cushiony padding. Thumbs up, C-Deck. This is awesome. So we'd like to start by saying thank you, C-Deck. Yes. You went over and above. Um, we realized that it wasn't corporate that installed it, but yet a dealer, and but yet you picked up the ball and you fixed it and you stood behind your product, which that doesn't happen very often these days anymore. So thank you. We really, really do appreciate it. Yes. From the bottom of our heart, it looks fantastic. and uh... You have some of the most professional install team. Those guys were Johnny on the spot. I mean, they knew what they were doing. They had it together and they got us taken care of. And we really appreciate all of y'all. Thanks again. And we got a little special surprise besides the yoga deck, but we'll save that for next weekend. Cheers to Sea Deck. Cheers to another season in the space between. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's my t-shirt, she likes my old boots Likes to slow dance, she's some old school She'll take a full moon over the city lights I ain't scared to get her lip and ears my life I can smooth it out, I can stick it up Guess that's why she can't get enough of the small town boy.